Hello everyone, my name is Marissa. I'm 18 and I'm a witch. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about wands and their uses. First wand I wanted to show you, I have three wands myself. They can be used for very many things. Um, directing energy, weather spells, healing spells, um, anything that you can use to point, it's used for. This is my first wand. The first one I ever made is made out of a, a tree called the tree to heaven or something like that. Some people define it as a weed, but I, I pick this because it's a very, it's a very, it's very hard, very, very hard and sturdy. I wrapped it in um, silk, black silk. The top is a crystal from a necklace I had. The bottom has some charms on it. You can see, charms. Um, I use this solely for the purpose for my altar. I set it on my altar and it represents the air. I don't really use it for much more. It is my first wand that I ever made, so I kind of just keep that as a symbol for myself. This wand is actually a newer wand that I just made actually today. When I get very crafty, I like to do stuff with my hands. So this wand is a from a um, willow. It's, it's very soft and uh, it's kind of on a weaker side. So I don't use it for most stuff. I use this wand for healing, and um, that's pretty much it. I use it for healing. It's not very fancy. It's not all pimped out. You know, it's just a simple stick that has the bark cut off of it. The next one I'm going to show you is the one I use for all purpose. It's a longer wand. It's about um, 20 inches. The marble is at the, I put a marble at the top of it. Now, I would use a crystal. Most people do use crystals. I don't have crystals right now because I don't have the money to buy that right now. But um, I put a marble on the end of my wand. Um, there's small crystals from different jewelry around inside the nooks of it. I wrapped um, black silk across for the across the bottom for the handle. I have the element symbols. I have harm none written, the goddess symbol. Uh, I just have a random symbol here. Of course, the pentagram in this case, of course, is right there and right there. This wand I use for pretty much it's my all-purpose wand. I use it for um, directing magic, directing energies in my spells. I use it for casting circles if I don't use my fame. I use it for weather magic which includes wind magic, lightning magic, thunder ma magic, and um, sometimes rain magic as well. It's made out of white birch, I believe. I have an old birch tree that fell down in the back of my yard, so I just cut one of the pieces off that was already dead and um, carved it. And this took a while to make, but I'm very proud of it. It's very strong, very sturdy. Like I said, it's about 18 to 21 inches, which is the size for um, wands. Um, basically, wands can be used to direct energy. If I wanted to direct an energy to, for casting circle, I would point it down and imagine a glowing white light coming out of the tip. I would cast a circle and then um, and that would be done. I could also use it for healing. If I wanted to heal someone, say someone had a broken leg, I wanted to heal them, I could point the wand at them. It could basically extend the arm. It just points whatever energy is inside your body, takes them out into a physical form. Um, it's not necessarily needed. Not every witch needs a wand, but um, I think wands are they're very cool anyway. So I like to mess around with them and make them. I'm very crafty with stuff like that. It also could be used if you're doing weather magic. You could use it to direct the wind, um, direct the thunder or lightning, to uh, direct the rain. Anything that really it really needs directing with your hands, it will become more powerful with the wand. If you don't have a wand, you can do the exact same thing with your finger. You know, it's the same thing. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want more videos. I'll be making them a lot.